Everyone talks about pro wrestling, but everyone talks about which era of wrestling was the best. Everyone talks about an era of attitude, the golden age of pro wrestling. But now there is a new style of wrestling, a new breed of wrestling, an era which will never be defeated. New Breed Wrestling. Sanchez, welcoming you to another exciting hour of New Breed Rewind. This time we're going to do something a little different. We put together a collection of the greatest matches of three of our top stars in New Breed Wrestling. This hour we're going to take a look at our World Heavyweight Champion, Dr. Eisen, our United States Champion, Tyler Bodine, and in our big main event, we'll take a look at one of the hottest rising stars in professional wrestling today, Astonishing Austin Mulatalo. I know you're really going to love this episode, so sit back, relax, and grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling. So it looks like they're they're bringing out Dr. Eisen. Is he going to get a shot at the heavyweight title then since Derek can't, can't defend it? It sure looks like it. He very well could become the triple crown champion here in New Breed Wrestling. Of course, with my boss, the man, Money Mike Pettis. Again, Morris, you could be living that good life. I've been hanging out. I've been driving his Porsches. I've been driving his Bentleys. Yeah, I've seen the pictures. I, I don't think very much. I've though. been up in the suites at AEW and other wrestling shows. This guy has been treating me very well and paying me well as well. Now, now I'm not going to say that Dr. Eisen doesn't deserve it because he's an amazing athlete and he's you know ton of talent, but you got to think that Mike Pess has a hand in this. So, I'm going to let you have your shot to walk out here tonight with it. But, there's also someone else that might be standing here with me, taking this time. No, it's, it's not taking it, it's not taking it, it's But you will know this man, because he calls me a lot of money in the tournaments over the last year or so. And that's a big boot. You probably just realize who it is. So let me introduce to you Curtis Wild. <laughs> Curtis Wild. Curtis Wild. I can't believe this. He doesn't deserve a title shot. <laughs> what do you mean? The he only, the a only title shot, shot he deserves is at the bar down the street. No, no. Seat. See, you know what? Curtis, ever, ever since he had that change of attitude and everything, I don't like it. Like, it it's, he's had an amazing turn. Attitude. I uh, still don't trust it. I think he's got something in the back of his head. He's a longtime veteran of the gang game. He's been around here, you know, Newbury for so long. You know what? I, I don't know if there's anybody else who deserves it more than Curtis Wilde right now. I beg to disagree, Mortis, but it is what it is. Scotty's the CEO, he's the boss, and Derek Teeter apparently hand chose both of these uh, contenders for the new breed titles. So. You know, I really think that Derek Teeter uh, chose two amazing competitors here. I mean, he, he chose really, really well. They're both uh, they're both deservedly of this title shot. I'll give them their due. They're both uh, great wrestlers, and I will go out on the limb and say that Dr. Eisen's probably one of the most underrated wrestlers in this area. I've seen this guy work for a lot of promotions. And he is a heck of a performer, heck of a wrestler, and he's come a long way uh, these last coming years. Okay, Peter. 
Oh no, he's got to start with that nut and eater stuff. I don't like him, Mortars. These fans need to keep quiet. They're giving me a headache again. Oh, come on. Just, just let them chant. Just let them. First ball. I don't. I didn't see any interference. No. Oh no, I, I don't trust my cousin. So we're kicking off the show with the new breed championship match. And what's not to like about Money Mike? He's got the leather jacket. There you go, referee Gordon Atkins coming down. He's ready. But what I was getting ready to say, Mortis, Money Mike's got the leather jacket. He's got the shades. He's kind of like the Fonz. You can't help but to like the Fonz. I'm not so sure about that. Now, obviously, in this match, Curtis Wilde and Dr. Ison know each other so well. Who do you, who do you have in this? I'm going to have to go with Dr. Ison. I think he's the superior of the two wrestlers. And, of course, he's part of private practice just like I am. Well, Dr. Ison does have momentum on his side. He's been on a roll lately. Oh, there we go. And that's the icing that I know and love. Putting it to him early. Oh, big chop across the chest. And an uppercut there in the corner. Oh, I'm loving it. Icing off to a quick start here. Solid forearms by Dr. Ison. <laughs> oh, now that was a low blow. Referee did absolutely nothing about it. I don't like this. I'm going to go up there and show Gordon a piece of my mind. They're getting physical real quick here, real early in the match. The okay. fans certainly on the side of Curtis Wilde. But you, you talk about money might be in the corner, but let's not forget all the shenanigans that that Mrs. Wild over there. Yeah, now I wouldn't Wildfire call, used to. I wouldn't call those shenanigans now. She's just she's a big boost to uh, to Curtis Wild's corner here. We've seen her get of, involved. Th that was in the past. That was in the past. They both changed their they, they've had an attitude change. I don't know. I'm still not trusting it. I, there's something shifty about them. No, Dr. Ison dips at it again. And Teeter watch, watching, making sure everything's on the up and up. Oh, friendly Money Mike with that crutch. Now, of course, uh, those of you watching will remember the last time we were here in Sedalia, Teeter had Money Mike handcuffed and parading yep. him around like a little oh, show dog. Man. That was a great night. Oh, I hated it, Morris. <laughs> How can they disrespect my boss like that? And then they left him handcuffed to the ring as the fans were exiting the building and everyone taking I'm, pictures with them. That I, was wrong. I, I think Mike might have been the last person to leave the arena that night. He did. <laughs> Not by choice. They had to drain him out with the ring post. Yep. There Dr. Ice is going to town on Curse Wild's knee there. Oh, applying that pressure, that's got to hurt, Mortis.
There you go. He's going right back to it. But Curtis is a fighter. He's back in there. He's throwing, throwing some hard shots to Dr. Ice's stomach. Oh, I can feel those. Oh, there we go. Right back to that knee. Oh! Stomping it right on the canvas. I'm liking the way this is looking. I think we're going to see the new breed heavyweight belt around Knights and uh, Waste. But like I said before, Curtis is a fighter. He's not going to give up. And Dr. Eisen just keeps attacking that knee. Now look He's at that. He's not giving him a chance. Wildfire fanning off Curtis Wild there. I'm not surprised if she slits him a foreign object or something. We've seen her do it before. Oh! Wildfire's just over there trying to give him, trying to give him a boost of encouragement. First with the strikes to to Dr. Ison's head. And the fans once again with that let's get wild chant. Certainly behind their man. And it's obvious that Dr. Ison has done the done the damage that he's wanted to do to Curtis's knee. Curtis's knee just gives out. Oh, that hurt my part. Referee Gordon Atkins checking, making sure that it didn't hit the groin. I, th I, th I think it might have. It came real close. Well, we saw Curtis with that low blow, so you know what? He deserves it if that's what he got. Oh, uh, looks like he's rolling on his thigh. Him right on the inner thigh. You know, I, I keep saying that Curtis Wilde is a fighter, and he is, but I don't know if he, he may have taken too much damage to oh, the damage again, left leg. Twisting that ankle there, applying additional damage to that leg. Oh! oh. Kind of nice. a laying super kick there, taking him down. That was kind of, well, it was, it was, or like an insiguri. Like an insiguri, like a yeah, like laying insiguri. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him do that before, but again, the crowd started with this let's get wild stuff. I don't like it, Morris. Oh, hard chop. And again, going to work on that leg. And Dr. Ison will not give up that leg. You know, you, we can say what, or at least I can say what I want about Dr. Ison and the, and the fans and how the fans react. Oh, big close line sends him down. But Ison is a very smart wrestler. And a smart guy. He graduated from the finest medical school, the online school in <laughs> Guadalajara. Sure he did. I've seen his diploma. Right by drop. It's and printed on, on uh, some uh, nice paper and everything. Oh, it's, it's printed on nice paper, so it's legit, huh? Yes. Even has a little gold seal on it. Did he get it from the Dollar General? He got it from his online school. And Dr. Eisen going right back to that leg, working, Perhaps working the figure leg. four coming up here. Here we go, figure four leg lock. Is he going to tap Ric Flair style here? Oh, I would call uh, that a tap. That's uh, a tap. He, that's not a tap. That's He's, a tap, Mortis. This match is over. That referee should be ringing the bell right now. Oh, it looks like... See, there's there's that fire attitude. Oh! Wild. Slaps back and forth. Changing slaps. He, he's, he's oh, he's reversing it. He got it. it! Oh, that still can't feel good on Curtis, though. Oh, don't there's, tap. Don't tap, Ison. You know better than that. I he, hope he makes his way to the rope. He reversed that pressure with that figure four, but Curse cannot that still can't feel good on his leg. There we go, made it to the ropes. He's gotta yep. he's gotta break it. Not break this leg, break the hold. I don't know, something's about to give. <laughs> now both their legs are are about toast. This is certainly gonna be a turning point in this matchup. Because it was all Dr. Ice, and now it could easily go either way. It could be a battle of wills now. Both men certainly getting to the feet. And who wants it more? Ison made it up first. 
Oh, another low blow. That looked low again. Uh, he, no, that was right on the stomach. You're watching the wrong match. I think. Oh, spine buster. I think your bald head is blowing in your eyes. You can't see the oh, ring. Oh, come on. There we go. This is Mike, this is Mike Pass getting oh, involved. Oh, they're Wildfire's kind of trying to stop him. He's trying to get him off. Get him there. Get him there. Oh. Oh, Derek Teeter just. Oh. I can't believe that. Looks, oh, what Mike Pass. I think he's out now. He's toast. I can't believe that. You got. Oh. Dr. Ison with the belt. He deserves it more than so I'm so happy right now. <laughs> We're going to be partying down in Party Cove at Money Mike's private oh. estate down there. Oh, it's going to be great. You could come with us, Mortis. I, I'd rather not. It's going to be a great time. Oh, now what she got a chair for? See? She's always cheating. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Talk about unsportsmanlike behavior right there. I don't like this one bit, Mortis. Oh, uh, Curse Wild is not happy, and rightfully so. That's what I call a sore loser. I don't know. You wouldn't be happy either if you got clubbed in the head with, with a title belt. Ref didn't see it, Mortis. This is huge. Money and a belt. Oh, this is great. I'm loving this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Joining my team, Money Mike's team. The American Outlaw, Tyler Bodine, the new breed United States champion, is now part of private practice. Apparently, Money Mike waved some dollars in front of him and he made a deal that Bodine can't resist. And now, all of a sudden, this is going to become a three way match for the United States title as Marte Marshall and Harla Cal have a chance at Bodine's title and some cash if they're able to beat the big man, Tyler Bodine. And look at, look at uh, Money Mike there flashing those dollars. I know he's threw, he threw me about 500 earlier. He'll throw me more as the night goes on. I'm living the good life just like Money Mike here. I rode with him to the show, in fact, in his uh, brand new Bentley. We wine and dine at the finest restaurants. He's got me dressed in the uh, finest Armani suits. Oh, I'm loving it. My boss, Money Mike Pettis. And I'm sure his money's going to be safe because Tyler Bodine's going to make quick work of both these men. But it's going to be interesting to see if the big man can certainly defeat both of these guys at the same time. Like I said, they could be future champions, so this could be a huge opportunity for either one of these guys to walk out of Sedalia with the gold around their waist. And there's the prize referee Gordon showing that beautiful gold belt. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be leading with Tyler Bodine. So this is interesting now, what started off as a singles match is now a three-way dance for the New Breed United States Championship. So this is going to be very interesting. The crowd does not like Money Mike, they don't like private practice, and they certainly do not like Tyler Bodine. And quite honestly, they're not fans of the crowd either, so these fans just need to shut up and sit down and watch this match. 
I know there's a couple ladies there in the front row that were giving them a hard time. I might have to call security to throw them out and throw them out of here. Here we go. Bodine's got Marte in the corner. And a big elbow before he descends the break. I really love it. Using that top rope for leverage, raking his eyes across that top rope. And Tyler Bodine quick to follow up there. Finally makes a break. But Bodine always has something to say to the ref. Always speaks his mind. Oh, caught by a big boot in the gut. But Tyler retaliates and now's uh, trading blows with Harlock Howe there. Oh, but Bodine over in the corner of the ring, both men slugging it out. And Harlock down, here's the count. Only a one count. Got his shoulder up pretty quickly. I, I can't complain about the count there on that one. That was certainly a one count. And Marte Marshall taking a little breather outside the ring. You know, there's no friends in this match, though. It's every man for himself. I know both of these uh, young guns want to see the gold around their waist. So both men are going to give it his all to try to take down Tyler Bodine. Here we go. Oh, the big man is down. Oh, I felt that one. That one rattled the camera a little bit, as you can see our viewers watching at home. Here's a roll up. Still only a one count, and that's the thing about these three-way matches. If either man, Bodine doesn't even have to be pinned to lose his title belt. So as you see here, Marte and Harlock Hal are both trying to get that pinfall once again on each other. But that's where Tyler has the advantage because he's the fresh man in this match. But still only a two count. So the match continues. And Money Mike sitting on the outside, standing on the outside, cheering his man on. Could he play a factor in this match? We don't know, only time will tell. Uh, some people say Money Mike likes to get involved in these matches. I've never personally seen it. I've, I've seen a lot of wrestlers take pot shots at him. He didn't deserve that, but you know, a lot of people don't treat me fairly either. Here we go, Ducks under, and double clothesline sends both men down. The beautiful maneuver there by Hard Luck Howe. And the strap's coming down. The strap on the singlet's coming down. He's mean in business. He's ready to fight. Here we go. Picks the big man up on his shoulders. Oh my goodness, slams him down. This is it. Oh, but saved by Tyler Bodine. Bodine throwing out. Harlock Allen makes the pin himself and gets the three count there. Money Mike trying to help Harlock Allen up, but not in time to break the hole. Now some of you at home may be, may be saying that, that Money Mike held back, um, held back Harlock Hal, but I didn't see it that way. But still, your new breed, United States champion. The American outlaw, Tyler Bodine, and he's asking for his pay. Look at this. Big old wad of $100 bills there. That's got to be easily like $2,000. Tyler's never seen that kind of money. He's going to take it back to his cattle ranch. And we'll be back right here on New Breed Wrestling. Elden Tire and Brake is your full-service auto repair shop located at 210 East 4th Street in Elden, Missouri. We specialize in mechanical repair, new and used tires, and complimentary state vehicle inspections. Let our auto repair professionals show you that you can trust Elden Tire and Brakes. Make your appointment today. Austin, he's quickly becoming a fan favorite. 
by everybody here in New Breed. What what do you have to say about about this newcomer in New Breed? He's he's quickly rising up the ranks. He is the fans like him, the women like him. I don't like him, but he is making a name for himself. And I know he wants New Breed going. And his, comp and his opponent tonight, Smoking Ace Luke Langley. This is this is going to be a pretty interesting battle between these two. This will, if, if Austin can pull off this win against Luke Langley, this could boost him up to the top. Oh, definitely. Luke Langley brings a lot of matches with him. He's won a lot of matches all over, all over the country, if not all over the world. He's a big tough guy. And Luke Langley is definitely a very intimidating foe for anybody in that ring. And it's uh it, it's obvious to say, but the fans don't like him here. No, they don't. Unfortunately, the fans are in Warsaw, Missouri. They don't know talent when they see it. I gotta admit, that's pretty good. Now, now I talked about how if, if Austin pull off the win against Luke, how well that, that would go for his career here at Newbreed. But if Luke beats Austin, where does that put Luke? I would say maybe in the contendership to uh, go against perhaps maybe Dr. Ison for the uh, Newbreed Heavyweight Championship. You know, that's, that's quite possible. Now that's his involvement. As you can hear, as you can hear the Langley sucks chance. I and don't like it more. Uh, he doesn't either. Someone needs to throw that guy out. I don't think it's easy for him to brush brush that off. everyone who made this show possible. We do want to thank our sponsors, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Elvin Tire and Brake, Snap-on Tools, and of course everyone here at the city of uh, Warsaw, Missouri. Thank you guys for making these shows possible. And don't forget to check us out online and buy your tickets when we're in your town. You're going to see some of the greatest professional wrestling action. And don't forget to like us on YouTube. Definitely, yes. Where you can see all the replays of every uh, New Breed show. And you can uh, freeze frame it and just see me and cut more stuff. No, don't do that. You, nobody wants to do that. The crowd firmly behind astonishing, astonishing Austin. Already before they even locked up, <laughs> Austin's got some. Uh, he's got the momentum on his side already with the with the crowd. I think Luke's trying to kill a little bit of the momentum. Yes, he is. The crowd's not liking this, but I love it. He's getting into Austin's head. He's playing mind games with the players. Austin does do a pretty good chicken dance.
See, that's what I was saying. He's saying he's in his head. I was just saying that for us. He's playing mind games with Austin. They're going to have a mental battle here before they start the physical one. Here we go, finding a lockup and a headlock. Austin's got the hammer lock. Going for the ropes. Grabbing those tights. Only a one count though. As Langley pulls up with that headlock. There you go, Austin reversing it. Grabbing that wrist. And a reversal by Luke Langley into the wrist lock. Oh, Austin, Austin showing his, his agility. Up and on the ropes. Nice clean break there from Austin. As Langley makes an escape again. Looks like Luke Langley needs a little bit of a breather. Crowd's getting the uh, the chicken chant back. I don't like it, Morris. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Yeah, Luke's got Austin in the corner. trying to roll out of it. Oh, oh he's grabbing the hair. Oh, I don't see any hair. Uh, he, he's obviously grabbing his hair there, so. I don't know what you're looking at, Morris. Look, he, look he's even, he, he even shifted his hair around. He's pulled so hard in. Back up. Let's try and go for that rope. Oh, so close, but yet so far. Oh, there we go. Foot right, rope. right back to the rope. Try and get out of it. And nice swing break by Austin. Back to the Langley sucks, Jance. <laughs> it's not funny, Morris. It kind of is. Someone needs to throw these fans out of here. You know what, they paid their money to get here, like I always say. They can chant, they can boo, they can cheer whoever they want, so. Not yeah. if I have my way. Yeah, they, they need to start booing you and get you out of the building here. Oh, I don't like that, Morris. That's not a good idea. I won't, I won't deny that. He is pretty strong. Oh, 
I'll, I'll give credit where credit is due. Austin's trying to get him out of the corner and make, some, make a little bit of space between the two. Rolls him up. Back body drop. Big elbow. Makes him, makes him stumble. Oh! That's not good. Kicks out. Two, that was real close. Austin may be hurt. That's not looking good for Austin and Otolo right now. Oof. As Luke Langley continues to punish him. Using that tough rope for oh. Ooh, stomps right on his shoulder. Just <laughs> squishing his head to the mat. Yeah, I see those fans in the front row. They're not uh, shutting those insults at him anymore. Just choke him on the battle of rope. It's going to be really hard for Austin to recover after this. A couple shots to the gut. To the, the third corner. I'm not sure if Austin knows where he's at right now. I don't think so. I think he might think he's still sitting down there in the lake. Oh, stops it. Ooh. Ooh. Couple of chops. Oh, what's this coming up? Solid neck breaker. That's got to be it. Only two. He's right there on the ropes, too. I think those ropes helped a little bit. Cut to the back of his head. And again, has him tied up in those ropes. Using that for leverage. As Austin is trying his hardest to stay in this match. Oh, right across the eyes there. Langley's doing a lot of damage on Austin, but Austin continues to fight. Austin. Okay, I'm thinking Austin might might go out here. Here at O'Reilly Auto Parts in Elton, Missouri, we have several free services like checking the scan tool to check your check engine light or battery alternator testing. We also check fluids, change bulbs, and batteries unless professional installation is required. Come and see one of our professional parts people today or call 573 
He's saying no, he's, he's still awake. Yeah, he's still in it. He's trying to get the crowd behind him. As he makes it to his knees, then back up to his feet. Oh, jawbreaker. Oh. Misses the clothesline. Oh, oh big, big drop big kick. kick. Oh my goodness, that's got to be it. Langley got some air time on that one. Only a two count. I can't believe he kicked out of that one, Mortis. Tell you, Austin's got a lot of fight in him. I'm going to have to admit, and I'll do this only once, he's actually impressing me today. Just that heart and that attitude. And holding his own against uh, someone like Luke Langley in this matchup. Very impressive. Oh, big forearm. Austin's just taking those forearms. There you go. Whoa! Austin might be using every little bit of his energy left to throw those, throw those strikes. Uh oh. Oh! Snake eyes on the top rope. Russian leg sweep. And again, wow. again, only a two count. I gotta say the instincts that that, that astonishing Austin showing here is it's uh, pretty amazing. It's pretty astonishing. I see where you went there, Morris. But I have to agree with you. I think if if, if Langley. Langley wants to wants to uh, finish this. He needs to finish this now. Oh! He's trying to. He's trying to finish him. Langley's trying to drain every single little bit of life left out of Astonishing Austin. Yes, he is. As Austin's still not giving up. Getting the fans behind him. Oh. This takes him back down. Now Luke Langley's ready to finish this. Austin with the back elbow. Trying to separate more space. Oh, big clothesline. Takes it down again. Oh, wow. Saw a sling blade drop kick. Splash into the corner. Is this going to be enough? I am real surprised that he, he had that much left in him. Yeah, I can't believe he pulled that off. I was almost sure that Luke Langley drained everything out, but he's still, he still got some left in the tank. Oh, oh, cradle suplex. So close, but still only a two count. Down. It's, it's going to be a test who, who just has anything left in the tank. Who's got more gas left? I think. You know, 
I can't really tell. They're they're about even here. Yes, they are. But it looks like Austin's going to the top. Oh! Luke Langley just sneaks in. That's a quick attack there. Struggled to get that pin. I think Austin was fighting that pin. <laughs> Luke's calling for another finish. Let's see if he can get on. Austin gets him back in the corner. Oh, knee to the face. Big Samoan drop by Austin. Austin climbing back up the top rope. What's going? What's going to happen here? the only one. Everybody's going crazy. Let's go, go for Kick out. Go. Who, who's going to get the better of this? Two. Oh. Gordon Atkins did not see that low blow. No, he didn't. Oh, Brain Buster! stops and he was able to finish Austin there at the end, you know. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I mean if it if it wasn't for that low blow, would Austin would have won that the won this match. Well he's been able to come back. Yes, this is definitely a great matchup and what a great way to end this hour. That was that was incredible. I, I you know what I gotta give it to both performers here. You know, both competitors. Definitely, they both gave it their all. They all lay down in the middle of that ring. But your winner, Luke Langley. Wow. We'll see you guys next week. Wrestling fans, don't forget, every Sunday afternoon, New Breed Wrestling uploads a new episode to YouTube. That's right. Come see all the stars of New Breed Wrestling. See every punch, every kick, every arm drag, every backdrop. See all the action that only New Breed Wrestling can bring to you. Every Sunday on YouTube. That's right. New Breed Wrestling. Sundays on YouTube. Come grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling.